Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the another problem. The problem is obtain the complete response for unit step input. So he, he given the input also that he mentioned the input is unit step. So the input is is u of t and what about Laplace transform of input? Laplace transform of input unit step input so input is simply u of t equal to 1 and Laplace transform of u of t is 1 by s so finally we can tell u of s equal to 1 by s so this is the Laplace transform of the input Laplace transform of the input next so whenever the input is given and he given what are the things he given first write down x dot equal ax plus bu so he given a value a matrix what is the a matrix here this is 0 1 minus 2 and minus 3 this is the matrix a and what about b is given b is 0 comma 5 and x0 is given the x0 okay y equals c c is given c is the 0 comma 1 these are the matrices he given right so what is the condition if i not obtain the complete response for unit step input so he is asking to find out the complete response for unit step input that means he mentioned he mentioned y equal 0 comma s complete res uh, complete response so what is complete response response means output so generally response is like this so x of, so sorry this is u of t is the input we are giving to the system input and we will get the output y of t and it represents x is the represents state then what is the complete response he given already response y equals 0 comma 1 x so y equal to 0 comma 1 x what is this x x is x of t so you need to find out this x of t okay so what is the formula for x of t whenever he is giving the input that time x of t value is like this i will write like this x of t is equals e power a t x of 0 plus and e power a t x of 0 and next <laughs> 0 to t e power a minus t by tau e power a t minus tau and b into u tau and d tau this is the thing actually so but we can directly write like this so when we are converting like this we will get like this so we can call it as zero input response this is and this is the zero state response zero input response and the zero state response by doing this we will get so in this session we will discuss about the zero input response and the next session we will discuss about the zero state response because it will take the much more time so first we will go for the zero input response so first this is the zero input response so what is zero input response zero input response is nothing but simply it will give laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse with multiplication of x of zero first we should find out laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse then multiply with x of zero then we will get the zero input response so first you find out what is si minus a so what is si minus a so si means 0 0 yes what about a a is the matrix 0 1 minus 2 minus 3 so that is z 0 1 0 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 so by doing this we will get s minus 1 and 2 s plus 3 so this is the 
SI minus A matrix. And what is our requirement here? SI minus A whole image. For that, what we have to do? First adjacent. We will find adjacent of SI minus A. How we will find out this? Adjacent means replace the diagonal elements. That means S plus 3 is first diagonal element and S is reverse. This is become 1 and this is become minus 2. So this is the adjacent of the matrix. And what next? We should find out the data. Data. Well, how we can find out the data? So where is the A? A is this is the matrix for A 0 0 plus 2. We will get the data is the plus 2 simply. So no, no sorry sorry. This is the SI minus A. We have to do for the data. This is the SI minus A. We have to do data of SI minus A, not data. Don't confuse here. Data of SI minus A. So here SI minus A by doing the data we will get S square plus 3S plus 2. 3S plus 2. So this is the adjacent and debt. What we need to find out? We need to find out the SI minus A whole inverse. SI minus A whole inverse. This is SI minus A. What we, what we have? This is the debt A. Debt is S square plus 3S plus 2. And adjacent matrix is S plus 3, 1, minus 2, yes. Okay. This is the adjacent matrix. And so this is the matrix. What we have to do for this matrix? We have to do Laplace inverse for this matrix. Okay. Laplace inverse. We should do the Laplace inverse. So the matrix is become like this. So when we are applying the Laplace inverse to this matrix, Laplace inverse of SI minus A whole inverse, then what it become? First is S plus 3 by, first is the S plus 3 by S square plus 3S plus 2. S square plus 3S plus 2. This is the first element. What about next element? 1 by S square plus 3S plus 2. 1 by S square 3S plus 2. This is the second element. What about third element? Minus 2 by S square plus 3S plus 2. So minus 2 by S square plus 3S plus 2. And what about the fourth element? S by S square plus 3S plus 2. S by S square 3S plus 2. So this is the big matrix and we have to apply the Laplace inverse to this. We have to apply the Laplace inverse to this. So if you apply the Laplace inverse to this matrix, this 2 by 2 matrix, you have to apply the Laplace inverse for the each and every matrix, each and every element, this element, this element, this element, this element. So in order to do this, first you need to do the partial fractions. Then you apply the Laplace transformer. So if you do the partial fractions, you will you will do, but directly I will write here the Laplace transform of the partial fractions is like this that is 2 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2 this is the first element by doing the partial fractions what about second element second element is 1 by s plus 1 and minus 1 by s plus 2 this is the second element what about third element third element is minus 2 by s plus 1 plus 2 by s plus 2 this is the third element what about fourth element fourth element is minus 1 by s plus 1 plus 2 by s plus 2 this is the fourth element so if you apply the Laplace inverse to this if you apply the Laplace inverse to this you will get the equations like this so by applying the laplace inverse each and everything what it become it become 2 into s plus 1 e power minus t minus and this is e power minus 2t first term what about this this is e power minus t minus e power minus 2t 
what about this this is minus 2 into e power minus t plus 2 into e power minus 2t what about this minus 1 into e power minus t this plus 2 into e power minus 2t and this is the system laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse si minus a whole inverse so finally we are coming to the zero input response what is zero input response zero input response equal e power a t into x of zero what is e power a t this is the e power a t so by doing with x of zero what we will get so so multiplying with x of 0 is 1 comma 1 so here e power a t what is the x of 0 value look at here x of 0 is 1 comma 0 so this is the 1 comma 0 that means we have e power a t here if we multiply with the 1 comma 0 and we have this this is the element and this is the 0 this is the element and this is the 0 we have finally two elements like this those elements are we can write it like this by doing the modifications we will get finally 2 power e power minus t minus e power minus 2t and plus 0 is available and next minus 2 e power minus t plus 2 into e power minus 2t that means we have only first two elements are available because this is multiplied with 1 this is multiplied with 0 this is multiplied with 1 plus this is multiplied with 0 so that's why this is the matrix is available and this is the matrix is available okay so finally we will get zero input response zero input response is like this finally we will get the this is the zero input response so we have two things we have two things yeah two, we are getting two elements this is the zero input response is completed okay and so in the next session we will discuss about the zero step response zero input response zero state response okay thank you